I want more Gorels because mine is fully maxed out and I feel like one day we're going to be able to use more than one copy. And because the next Gorel I summon on the Gorel banner is guaranteed to be one, but everybody says consecutive summons are always guaranteed to be him. Every time you get a legendary summon after the first one, they say it's guaranteed to be him every single time after. Hey man, thanks so much for that. Appreciate you watching my content and supporting. It helps a lot. It helps pay the bills, my man. Seriously. Yeah, that's what they said. I don't think that's true either. Plus, they said here on the advanced summons that you get Gorel as well. And I'm gonna, I think we're gonna dispel that. This is gonna be my Myth Buster episode because we're at a 10.5% chance to get a legendary. So we're gonna get one soon. Let's see if it's Gorel here. And then we're going to go spend the rest of these shards and get a guaranteed one on this. You fail every 50-50? Yeah, that's what it's going to be, right? You have failed. I know, that's what it says it is. 50% chance to get a Gorel. If you get him, cool. If you don't, you're guaranteed to get him on the next one. And then it just keeps repeating. So every other legendary that you summon will always be him on this banner. But I don't know why people are saying that you're guaranteed to get him here all the time and you're guaranteed to get him here forever. I don't, it's weird. But our next one is 100% guaranteed for him, which I do want to pick up because if he is good enough and if one day with Guild vs. Guild Wars we can use more than one copy, I'm not saying I know anything about that. I'm just saying if, the, if Guild Wars is like Summoner's War or Epic 7, we're going to be able to use copies because we can only use that one hero one time in our guild battle. But you have to do different fights, like multiple fights. If we can use other copies, then I'll I'll put pots into him if I have to. Like, if I really want to use him, as long as I have one copy, I can always put the, the big Ascension pots into him later on. Okay, we're going to do the advanced summons first. I hope, yeah, T, this is T with lemon in it. Lemon inside. Let's see what we get. Now, this is the advanced summon, so we should not see Gorel here. I mean, there's still a chance to get him. But the likelihood of him popping up is not big. Let's get a... Get a Gangelo, please. 10.5%. I'm going to do them one at a time so we can save the rest for our guaranteed Gorel on his banner. Nothing. Give me a Rog. That's fine. I'll take that. Okay. Our percentage is going up. What are we at right now? We're at a 17% chance to get one. So regardless, in the next four or, four or so, we're guaranteed to get a Legendary. Why does it go to Pity? You pitiful bastard. Here it is. What's it going to be? Gangello? Please, please, please. Give me the gang. Ah, okay, cool. This is really good because I don't have her ascended really high. And I just did a video on her. And I know I would love her at second ascension. This is actually really cool. See, whoever said you always get... We had a 100% chance to get Gorel on his banner. And people said that no matter where you summon, it's going to be a 100% chance. So that myth has been busted. And they said that you always get Gorel here, which is not true either. It's a 50% chance to get him. Then you get a guaranteed. Every other is a guaranteed. So much damage. Once he gets up that pierce armor, 50% armor pierce, defense pierce, then he really starts to shine. Okay, back over here. The last summons we did on this, we opened up 340 and we got seven legendaries total. Really? We got six Gorels and an Imogen. A dark legendary. I was so happy. So damn happy. Let's see what we get here. I'm just I'm just hoping for a Gorel. I mean, we know it's a guaranteed Gorel. If we get the first legendary right away, then I'll spend a little bit and we'll get one more legendary. That would have been so cool. I think they fixed the banner. I don't know. I don't know if it was ever really broken, but just one extra sitting there with no ascension. And then if I ever see that I want to use two for something, then I'll do that. Wow. Here it is. Here he is. Quick. All right. We're going to get another legendary. We had 100% here. So should we take our 94 to the advanced summons or should we, should we just save? We could just save for another epic that comes out soon, another legendary that comes out soon. We could go with a 50% chance to get another Gorel. 
you say for the next banner personally yeah i think i should i'm not trying to i mean i'm spending on the game but i'm not trying to wail out i don't make that much money on youtube to wail out i don't make that much money at all to barely even cover my bills so i'm not really trying to spend a lot of money on all these gotcha games i just can't do it Save for the next one if you ever do this type again. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'll save for the next one. So that was pretty good. We got to... Let's look at Hydrissia and see where she's at. I really want her second ascended because that additional attack, the AoE, will be at 80%. Yeah, but at least we have base attack here. Because I think this will really change her. You're a Kraken? <laughs> What's up, buddy? 50% damage to an 80% AoE damage is pretty huge because my 100% AoE damage on Ciara is gigantic. Okay, this damage that she does here is pretty insane. And it's only 100% of her attack. So I can imagine if we have her... I just don't know where I'd really use her. I've got so many I love to use, so I don't know. I, I would probably use her more. 10 days to get drunk enough to go <laughs> stuff it. Now, usually I don't wail out in any game I play. I just do summons enough to get heroes so that I can do guides on them and play them in the game. I don't really I don't really wail out just to wail out. Honestly, I'm not one of those people that summon because I feel like a, a crack fiend to summon. I'm not one of those. Plankton's in a sea of whales? Well, at least you played the, you're playing the right game if you're going to be a free-to-play or a low spender because there's nothing better than this magic pass. And the amount of free summons we get from legendaries, plus every 20 normal summons, we get an epic hero guaranteed. I think I think we're in the right game to not have to be like big spenders. 